Hello, users, and welcome to another episode of Above It All. So I know that whenever I make videos about Joe Rogan, I get people that are interested in Joe Rogan, and they find this, and they like the guy. Um, and they get mad at me if I criticize him. So I just, I want to extend an olive branch. If you're here, regular subscriber, just, you know, skip ahead for a minute or whatever. But if you're here and you like Joe Rogan and somehow you found this video in some sort of like, you know, suggested feeds or like you looked it up or whatever. I want you to understand uh, my opinion of Joe Rogan is informed from not watching his show and watching specific episodes with specific people and then seeing how he behaves. And he's got these tendencies that are just, he, he has a, like a gut reaction and he just says things without thinking. And this clip is profoundly interesting because he goes off on this like long rant and monologue that's against protesting. And at the end of this clip, he's going to answer his own question and not realize it. And like come out of this thinking that, you know, the left is stupid or whatever. And it's really dangerous. And uh, to put it bluntly, Joe Rogan is a dullard. And I understand if, you know, you identify with him, you know, you like DMT, you like drugs. I love drugs. I'm high right now as I record this. So if you want to watch someone that does drug-based content, let me know. That's me. Uh, I get it. He's a health nut. I'm also a health nut. So, you know, if you want someone who's like Joe Rogan except hot and also not a dullard, then you could subscribe to my channel and I would like that. But um, I would just, you know, I'm being a little sarcastic, but... I got to, you know, I'm a hefty, sarcastic person. Uh, so I just want you to listen to this. Listen to what I have to say. If you're Joe, Wo Joe Rogan, like curious, or if you like him, or if this is like, you know, you're a super fan, just listen to what I have to say. Let's have an exchange of ideas here. And Jesus Christ. This movement, and it, it seems so attractive to young people that do feel disenfranchised by the system. So I, I watch them. I mean, I've seen so many videos of these people out there screaming and cheering and chanting and they feel like they're a part of something right and they are right but what is that thing that they're a part of like what's the end goal that doesn't seem to have been really clear still like there's kids out in uh they were out in um woodland hills out there chanting no justice no peace and i'm like okay what justice are you talking about are you talking about george floyd well, that, in that case, it seems like that guy's going to go to jail for the rest of his life. And I, I don't know if that's justice or not. That police department has been disbanded. I don't know if that's justice or not. But what is justice and what is peace? It's just a slogan, but they feel good saying it. No justice, no peace. But what, I don't know what you're saying, but you feel very passionate about what you're saying. And I, I think if you pulled one of those kids aside and said, what's your message and what are you trying to do? I think a lot of them would have nothing to say. And that's what's, that's very concerning to me. I'm very concerned about that because it seems like they're very enthusiastic and passionate about an invisible enemy. An, an enemy that they can't, they can't put on a scale. They can't tangibly describe it in a way that I, I understand it completely. It just seems like the structure of things they feel like is, is unjust. Again... He literally answers his own question, but doesn't realize that he just answered his own question. So this is why uh, media outlets like Unicorn Riot are so indispensable, because they actually went to Minneapolis. They, you know, have videos from Philadelphia pulling random people and saying like, hey, what do you think about this? And literally every single person was able to give a coherent and very actually illuminating answer. Like literally like pulling random like homeless people off the streets, pulling random like 15 year olds off the streets and they talk about what's happening around them, you know, during when like the police station, you know, was set on fire and blew up and shit. And they were able to answer the question eloquently, directly and poignantly. But Joe Rogan doesn't know that because he doesn't watch that media. He only follows, like, like you know, Donald Trump's Twitter feed or other right-wing fucking Twitter feeds. He only talks to, like, Ben Shapiro and gets those things from. You know, he says he watches Kyle Kalinske, and, you know, I, I've got many problems with him. 
But he, one of the major issues I've got with him is he does not understand protest culture. He does not understand systemic criticism really at all. And Joe Rogan has a platform of millions of people. And the guy is just a dullard. Like, he is not smart. Like, again, he goes off on this, like, hmm, well, what's justice? Is it against... I guess it's against the system. But, w- w- like, he like he answers his own question and doesn't realize the answer. Like, he spends one minute and 30 seconds asking a question, and then he answers it perfectly in the last five seconds. But, like, again, he just doesn't put two and two together. No justice, no peace means we will not settle down until the system that is unjust is toppled like look at brianna taylor in kentucky it's been months three to four months now and nothing has happened to her murderers okay that's what no justice no peace means and again they they always want to tie it to george floyd just george floyd oh well george floyd's people they're they're charged so therefore go home kids it's like again this is what the right does is they try to pin everything on one thing and they just don't understand systemic critiques. The system is what killed George Floyd. The racist cop was a member of an institution, an institution, that killed George Floyd, and that killed Breonna Taylor, and that killed so many others. That's what this means. This is not about one individual case. I have been attacked and brutalized by police. People in my family have been attacked and brutalized by police. When I go and protest... Yes, it's for George Floyd. Yes, it's for Breonna Taylor. Yes, it's for Rayshard Brooks. But it's also for me. It's also for justice for me. And because I want to live in a better fucking world. And that's what Joe Rogan doesn't understand. Because he's a a fucking rich Hollywood liberal. And he doesn't talk to any, any actual real people. He just talks to a bunch of rich Hollywood liberals and rich Hollywood fucking conservatives. And that's his fucking base. And, like, he has no attachment to what people think on the ground. And that's how you get these, like, weird, bizarre rants where he goes off on this fucking giant fucking whatever attacking protests. Lying, oh, if you pulled them off. Well, that experiment's been done in almost every city. You know, again, follow the Unicorn Riot live streams. Those are my favorite that you can just check out very high quality. Those experiments have been done. But again, they always try to use these, like, hypotheticals. Well, hypothetically, if you pulled a random kid and hypothetically... Like, that's not how the world works. And we have done these experiments. But again, Joe Rogan... And I'm not trying to say he's an evil guy, but he's just a dullard. He's a very stupid person. He's got a low IQ. And that's what you have to understand. Like, if this guy's entertaining to you, then fine. But, I mean, watch my videos. I get, like, 100 views a video. So, like, you can actually be a very big part of something rather than just a bystander. You can influence what I talk about. And I'm also hot. Like, I'm extremely attractive. Like, look at me, right? Like, I'm, you know, like, holy shit, right? But, like, I'm also not a dullard. I've got a higher IQ than Joe, Bi- or than Joe Biden. Yes, that's correct. But also Joe Rogan. Like, this guy's just a dullard. I don't know how else to put it. He's just a not bright person. And, uh... Thank you for listening. I'll see you again soon. Go watch another video if you haven't seen them that are popped up. And uh, I'll see you.